Welcome to the carry-on closet. It comes in two sizes, medium, which is European airline friendly, will fit on every airline in Europe, and the large, which is US airline friendly, will fit on every airline as carry-on luggage in the US. Other than the size, they're identical, so we're just gonna tuck this guy to the side and we're gonna focus on this guy. When we say unpack in seconds, how many seconds do we really mean? All right, let's start the timer. All right, how was that? With the larger size carry-on closet, you're able to fit in a ton of stuff. I actually just finished a two month long trip and all I had was a carry-on closet, large size, and one of our backpacks. I had the Endeavor for what it's worth. Our full luggage collection of the carry-on closet and the check-in closet, it's self-supported. It hangs on the handle of the suitcase. There's a little clip here on the door that you connect down just to keep the door positioned at 90 degrees. That way this door acts as a kickstand to keep the whole thing from toppling over. Or you can hang it wherever else you please. So I'd suggest you pack the closet in its hanging form, hanging on the suitcase, hanging in your closet. However, lay it down. You would probably be zipping these pockets up. And then when you wanna compress it, it actually works really well to have it on a table like this. You compress it in just by hand, and you pull these kind of as like a guiding strap. And this just gets dropped in. As you'll see, there's actually still plenty of space up here if you had a bigger item like a jacket or a hoodie you might want. And right here, this is, this is 12 t-shirts, eight pairs of socks, eight pairs of undies, two pairs of jeans. Compresses into this space. So you still have that extra bit of room there you can work with. So these two shoes will sit here. Then there's these guys you can strap over depending on how much stuff you have. Actually, why don't we do, why don't we do that one? Somewhere cold, throw this in here. And then these large sections here actually work really well because you can just Clip that down and you can really pull on this if you need to crank it down to compress it any further. So here's the thing, right? This suitcase has no zippers, which is amazing because when you want to close it, it closes just like that. But if you have a piece of fabric sticking out, it's gonna be really hard to get that through. So that's one thing you just need to be aware of is making sure that any of your loose little bits aren't dangling out. Compress the suitcase and you're ready to go. The TSA approved three digit lock is right here. So you can set the code to whatever you need by simply opening up on the inside. You flip this little guy down. You choose the combination of your choice. Let's say you're just gonna go to 0001. You flip this guy back to position A. And now your new code is whatever you just left it as. Keep your code safe somewhere, somehow, whatever. I don't know, don't tattoo it on your forehead, but just keep it somewhere. And to save space at home, you can nest the luggage. The rib cage base design allows the product to just stay looking fresh for many years to come. If the ribs were to go in, it means that a scratch could actually just come the whole way up and you'd have that entire scratch on the whole surface. Whereas if you have it as ribs, it'll deflect and bounce off. So that scrape will only be on the high side of these edges. You'll notice there's these metal protected edges. We have that on all four of the top corners. Now this is a spot that luggage gets a lot of abuse. If it gets chucked off the plane or slides down an elevator, those corners really take beating. These four metal corners are gonna protect your investment for many years to come. On the top, there's this handle here. It's got a nice little recesses back into place, a nice soft, squishy little handle. Nice handle grip on the side here with a nice easy close spring so it stays. Anyway, this is ergonomically fit to fill your hand. There's a little place to rest your thumb there. Our new ergonomic handle here is motorcycle inspired design. It's got a really nice hand feel and as you grip it, it's just feels really great in the palm. On the back here is a USB port that connects to your power bank inside so you can charge your phone no matter where you are. So you connect this to your power bank and then this guy becomes active. There's no built-in battery. It is just, this connects to whatever power bank you have on the inside. On the back of the luggage, there's also this sort of, when you slide this thing onto a track or you put it in an overhead bin, this track will take the abuse instead of the whole face of the suitcase. One of my favorite things about this suitcase is that the lining fabric for the closet and the entire inside is made from Shortex. Our planet positive fabric is made from 100% recycled content and each item sold saves six pounds of plastic from entering our ocean. A million pounds of plastic prevented from the ocean and counting. So there you have it, luggage that's better for you and better for the planet.